Okay, I would like to introduce the stand mixer to those who have never used one. So this is um, a KitchenAid stand mixer. This is a seven quart mixer. The seven quart size refers to the mixing bowl, um, which is a little bit larger. It is a, it's a stand mixer for the home use, but it is on the larger side. Uh, more commonly, um, for home use would be a five quart size machine, a five quart size bowl. Okay, so you might notice that mine's a little larger. Um, but nonetheless, the machine works in the same way and the attachments are all the same. Okay, so this is the mixing bowl. Your stand mixer will come with a whip attachment, okay? We don't need that now. We probably won't use it in the breads class at all. You'll have what we call a paddle attachment, okay? That's this. And lastly, the third attachment is the dough hook. And that is what we're gonna use for this recipe and for um, any of our dough, uh, yeast dough recipes. Okay, so first thing on your machine, the machine gets fitted on, your bowl will have these uh, attachments on the side that fit on. And then in the back of the machine, there's a point, a little knuckle here um, that has to get pushed down and into place so that the bowl is level. Okay, you wanna make sure you do that. Um, and then to attach the dough hook, I don't have any dough or anything in the bowl yet, but the dough, the dough hook will go inside the bowl. So first you get the bowl on, then you're gonna put the hook on. You'll see it has to fit on as well and then turn and go into place so it's locked in, okay? At that point, you can use your lever. Some machines are um, the uh, what we call the tilt, and this part of the, this bulk of the machine will tilt up. Mine uses the hand lever to raise the bowl, okay? So that's on when you're looking at the machine on the right side to so up and down to use it. Now, when the bowl's in the upper, up position, your attachment, um, in this case, I have the dough hook on, it should not be touching the bowl, okay? It comes close to the bottom and close to the sides, but it doesn't touch it. Now, um, when you start mixing uh, with the dough hook, you'll uh, start on the lowest speed or speed one, okay? Whenever you um, are going to take anything in and out of the bowl, start and stop your machine. Never put your hands or any utensils inside the bowl when you're mixing or when the machine is running. Okay, so next, um, when we're working with yeast doughs, um, again, we'll start on speed one, and then at some points we'll increase to the second speed, okay? but that's about as high as we go. If you go any higher, um, it might, it can, depending on how strong your yeast dough is, it might overwork or over push your machine and be hard on the motor. So I recommend when uh, doing a yeast dough in your stand mixer, stick with speeds one and two. Okay.